to a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Dallas Mavericks. Now, we'll look at Dallas's starting lineup. Hardaway and Porzingis in at the forward slots. Doncic out there with Richardson. And it's Powell in at the five down low. And for the Lakers, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Gasol and at the five. Here we go. So Dallas will get the first possession. Back to Caldwell Pope. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Here's LeBron. Four on the shot clock. Drives it from nine. Basket counts. Taking advantage of what's there. Look. Coming into the league with immense potential. Porzingis has already fulfilled much of it. Already an all-star. But you know, Greg, there are still areas he's working on. It's a little more often when a teammate has a better shot. But if he can just stay healthy, boy, the sky's the limit on what he can accomplish. So it's the Lakers now. The Mavericks making the shot. Pass to Davis. Over Perzingis. That's good from Davis on the assist by Caldwell Pope. Get his guys going when they're open. The three for Doncic. Offensive rebound. Perzingis. It's good. And he makes his first shot of the game. No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Now here's James. He's coming off a 22-point game against the Clippers. He's looking for his guys to put up a terrific performance tonight, especially at the defensive end. He said, we want to use our length and athleticism to protect. We'll see if they can get the stop. Staying connected to shooters. I, I think if they can do that, they have a great chance to be successful. And that's going to take great communication out on the perimeter. Expect them to switch quite a bit. Here's Schroeder. Porzingis with the block. And, and with his length, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. Richardson with it. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Phoenix. And his rebounding best there is at the free throw line. There's the pass to Powell. Back to Richardson. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Dimension in terms of playmaking. Now here's LeBron. Hardaway with the steal. To the inside. And a slam dunk by Richardson. trying to free himself up. Yep, that one goes in there. Schroeder's got six points. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Pass to Richardson. Porzingis inside. He's guarded by Schroeder, and Porzingis gets it to go on the assist by Richardson. Give Josh credit, taking the challenge offensively. Discipline, and that's a beautiful pass. Very well, whenever they play these guys, you can tell they have a ton of confidence. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And they take the lead. For Singus is gone. Here's Caruso. Los Angeles with another miss. Green, the pass to Persingas. And the lead 
Objection by Harold. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's Morris. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Johnson with the block. Sneaky shot blocker James Johnson is not the biggest guy, but he has the reach to do it. And great hustle here early on. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second. Then there's Kyle Kuzma, and it's Cook in at the one. Here's Burke after the basket by Montrez Harrell. Burke, the pass to Green. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. He was all alone on that one. Just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs? That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how Hill. about Kobe going to the Lakers? Uh, Mikhail and Parrish coming to the Dallas has gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Hardaway, no good. Can't fault the play call. Even though he could convert, that's a good shot. Nailed from three-point land for the Lakers. And here is Doncic after LeBron James hitting the three. Pass to Burke. Back to Doncic. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. The defense tried, but Doncic gets through. Luka able to put a smooth release on the shot. James dishes to Davis. Inside, here's Schroeder. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's LeBron. Got a piece of it. And he recovers it. Sinks the three-pointer. And now it's just a four foul. Outside, Brzingis from deep. Not happening that time. His second miss and five shots. Here's James, uses the glass to finish the layup. James has got five points now this quarter. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. You know, Steve, one thing you admire about LeBron, how he shapes a possession for his team. Screens to just kind of shuffle defenders, make them think. Once he sees an opportunity, he'll pounce all over. You can see him do this the most at That's the end good. of close games. Those are the plays Davis is capable of making. Much more confident and stronger than what he was when he came into this league. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And a very steady season for him at the charity stripe last year. Pick and roll in part because of his instincts. You know, he doesn't impress me in terms of his physical attributes, but his mind, the ability to anticipate, having a sense of how perimeter players play the game. He's a guy that's terrific. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an oldie but goodie in Andre Iguodala. He's still yes. terrific. And I pick bigger guys because you've got to be able to switch that and guard smaller players. And, you know, at the center and in the swing position, those are two guys that still are very reliable. What you're doing. Harrell, he's checked in for the Lakers. The Mavericks also with a sub. Finney Smith's checked in. Now here's Richardson. He's got five, and the shot goes in. 15-footer. Defensively, I'm impressed with Richardson. The ability to move his feet and match up against a variety of positions. And Finney Smith gets it to go. Morris comes in for Davis. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. And Dallas also making a switch. Green, he's checked in for Richardson. Now here's Brunson. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Suns in Phoenix. And Finney Smith gets it to go for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last Pass to Hardaway from deep three-point range, and Davis pulls it down. Davis has got seven rebounds in the game. Nice shot by James. Nice touch. Facing ability continues to evolve. They start the second half with three straight misses. He feeds it to Caldwell Pope. Floats it up for James. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. Against Schroeder. Five on the clock. 
a former defensive player of the year. Don't forget, Mark Gasol with the great defense there. Missed four straight shots now and regroup. The Mavericks have gone 0-4 from the field in the second half. Yet to find the mark. Doncic left side. And good. You got the English that time as it falls. Powell had an excellent college career. Yet he fell to the second round of the draft. Didn't even hear his name called as he was selected during a commercial break. Defensively, a breakdown along the perimeter. Just too slow to rotate. Richardson the pass to Johnson. Dallas moving it around. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Finally found a home in Dallas. Everything turned around from that point forward. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Billy Cauley Stein comes in for Dwight Powell. And Trey Burke subbed in for Hardaway. Here's Johnson. Cauley Stein trying to free himself up. Johnson can't hit. Here's Horton Tucker. Richardson cover. Horton Tucker, that's good. In the third, that leaves room for improvement, sir. Here's Doncic, and Gasol sends it back. It's stolen by Green. Fast break, Dallas. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It is to really crack down on illegal screen. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Brunson, good. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. And that'll be the third of the four straight at home. Here's Brunson. They kick it out to Green. Hands it from downtown. Green's got himself on the board with three there. Those two elements all the time. Pass to Caruso. Here's Harold. Now the pass to Caruso. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Caldwell Pope, good on the triple. Caldwell Pope's got eight points. Feeding off one another. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. We've got Markeith Morris. He's out there with Harold. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Caldwell Pope. Powell with it. Outside, Brzingis. Good on the three-point shot. Brzingis has got five points now this quarter. Richardson outside. The pass to Doncic. And he makes that one. And he's cables. Gasol with the steal. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. LeBron, good. LeBron's got 12 points. Doesn't go for him. Great D that time from Davis. Lakers have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And that one drops for him. And now a four-point Laker lead. Passes to Richardson. Dallas moving it around. Pass to Finney Smith. He kicks it to Doncic. Down to five on the shot clock. Over LeBron. And all around the rim that time. Over Perzingis. And it's Davis missing. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. He did not waver on his decision making. Six on the shot clock. Releases. He can't get that one. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. Hardaway against Schroeder. Hardaway goes in. And Gasol sends it back. Three on three. Davis, the pass to Schroeder. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. 
when you need a big score, you want LeBron to at least touch the ball, and this is why. Dallas has gone 6 of 12 from outside, a very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. And there's the pass to Richardson. Brzingis trying to get free, and the call on the shot sends him to the line. That one on Caldwell Pope. Good on the first, and that ties the game up. I mean, a ferocious athlete, Josh Richardson, has also proven to be a terrific 3 and D guy. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives them the lead. And how about the composure there at the line? A ton of pressure on those free throws, and he knocks them both in. Hard away against LeBron. Sinks that one from the post. James has got 27 points. The defender is left helpless to stop that. LeBron with too many tools in the toolbox. And that killer instinct. Doncic outside. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by LeBron. Los Angeles has gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Big-time basket at a big-time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. And the Mavericks call time here. They trail by three. 50 seconds left to play in the final quarter. 50 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Doncic. Porzingis kicks to Doncic. Pass to Hardaway. Count it! A tremendous three to tie it up. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. And the Lakers call time here. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. LeBron is doubled. Pass to Gasol. Count it! The calm attitude of Gasol not letting the moment overwhelm him. Just taking his time and finishing off the buck. 27 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Great D that time from James. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty to get the basketball back. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. The pass to Richardson. There's the three. But they'll get another chance. And it's Doncic missing. And now they foul and stop the clock. At the line for two. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And so the Lakers take the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. LeBron, a challenge for you tonight with your matchup. How much motivation do you get in a game like this? My matchup is not an individual matchup. It's, it's us as a team trying to get better, and uh, we was able to hold court, so it was a good win for us. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.